can you actually game on a 30,000 rupees budget laptop? This was the highest asked question on my previous video guys and if you've been following my channel, you people might have known right. Yesterday only I posted a brand new video on a very affordable category laptop, new model from Infinix, uh, the Y1 Plus and it actually packs like pretty interesting hardware on board guys and the cost of that laptop is only around like 29,900 rupees. So people were like very curious, Vimal bhai, why don't you make like a dedicated gaming review video on that? Because see a lot of people people usually have like tight budget right so around 30,000 rupees if this laptop can actually play games or you know stuff like that it would be greatly beneficial for them because what happens is now when you have like 30,000 rupees a lot of people are like really confused like should they go for like a custom BC build or should they go for like a laptop because if you go for like a 30,000 rupees laptop now what people have said me is they're getting like a complete package over here display is also coming now included with peripherals like keyboard and mouse everything if you go for like a PC build over there you'll only get like a pc again you'll have to invest separately for the monitor seven eight thousand rupees uska jayega. then peripherals also keyboard mouse speakers also so overall package will slightly go above the budget so if you people are actually interested you know like a comparison of a budget category pc versus laptop in 2023 let me know and i'll make like a special awesome video on that very interesting topic guys share your thoughts in the comment section down below we'll keep that part for some other video today coming back to the topic we'll be seeing guys if this infinix 30,000 rupees laptop can actually play games now first of all let me tell you about the hardware on board it's a intel 10th generation i3 cpu on board guys it's like a dual core cpu two cores four threads with a max turbo of up to 3.4 gigahertz cpu itself on its own is not that great uh, you'll get this only guys for this price point you can't expect like 12th or 13th gen na, nah, not possible if you want like brand new gen intel cpus obviously price will go around like 45,000 rupees this is a very affordable one but when the CPU is paired with like pretty decent other components like you're getting 8 gigs of LPDDR4X RAM and also like a PCIe Gen 3 NVMe SSD guys. So all of this work together and can actually handle like decent amount of gaming. So we'll be seeing like if it can play 720p gaming and also we'll try to play 1080p resolution as well. Now that though I'm pretty much doubtful but okay, we'll just try and see if it can handle 1080p gaming at all. And talking about the games, I got two games that were like highly requested from you people in the comment section first one is like gta 5 guys all time favorite this was like a must in the test and second is valorant i don't know how many of you play valorant but a lot of people have requested me in the comment section to you know ask me to play valorant and test if this system can actually handle that so these are the two games we'll be testing out and before we actually get started now i'll tell you some quick tips and you know settings that you can enable to max out the performance of this system first one thing i'm pretty sure everybody knows just simply go into the settings power settings over here and select maximum performance near this battery section and second thing is quickly open up your intel graphics command center here go into this hardware tab you know system settings and here also you'll need to set it to like maximum performance mode you don't want to save any battery because obviously you'll be playing games on your laptop while connected to your power adapter only na? very rarely i've seen people play games on battery so these are the two things you'll have to do and that is pretty much it if you talk about the graphics on board there is no dedicated gpu over here come on it's a very affordable uh, budget category laptop from where you will get like an nvidia gpu or amd gpu nah, you're only having like integrated graphics from intel which is like intel uhd graphics and this has like very limited memory guys only around like 128 mb but you're getting shared memory of around like 4 gb so let's see how it goes pretty interesting video guys chalo let's get started with the benchmarks and gameplays the first game we'll be testing out is gta 5 let me quickly show you the graphic settings as well there you go we are currently playing this game at 720p resolution in this first test vsync set to 60 and all the graphics are set to low and normal all right then let's see how it goes oh oh that is actually pretty interesting look at this to all the people who thought you cannot game on this machine bam face palm you can literally play gta 5 on this laptop so what if it's 720p normal graphics game chal raya nahi that is a question na. i would actually say the laptop is doing a decent job actually considering there is no dedicated gpu at all 
yet that integrated UHD graphics is able to run GTA 5 on this system. So at 720p normal sort of graphics, we were getting around 35 FPS on an average, which is not the smoothest sort of performance, but TK at this price, you can't complain here. Yeah? Look at the price tag. In fact, rejoice, you're at least able to play this game over here. Up 720p ka ye hal hai to 1080p ka don't ask at all guys. If you switch to 1080p resolution, you'll hardly get around like 20-25 FPS. And that too gets a bit unstable. So 720p is the limit for this game. And moving on, before we actually jump into the second game which is Valorant, I'm pretty sure everybody knows this. In order to play Valorant game, your PC or laptop should definitely support TPM 2.0 and also Secure Boot should be enabled. So Secure Boot by default on this Infinix laptop was not enabled guys, it was disabled. So Valorant was not booting up. Uh, you'll have to enable this from the BIOS, just simply enable Secure Boot and then you'll be able to play this thing. It's very easy to do that guys, I could do it in like less than 2 minutes. If you people don't know how to, you know, access BIOS on a laptop or maybe enable secure board these sort of features let me know and I can actually make like a separate video very educational video guys I'll tell you a lot of things about BIOS settings as well just hit me up in the comment section down below Okay, Valorant up and running. Let me quickly show you the current graphic settings also. This one will first start off at 1080p resolution. I'm pretty sure Valorant over here can definitely run at 1080p. And talking about the graphics, as you can see, everything is set to low and VSync also disabled. Chalo, let's get into the game. Yar, Valorant khel ke baut din ho I lost that touch in this game. By the way, who's your favorite character? I actually have a couple of them, but let's now go with Neon. Oh, ho, 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 look at this. Are bhai. We are actually able to run this at 1080p. But I do see a bit of micro stutters here and there. Kabi kabi, when you're panning very quickly in the game, you're definitely facing some stutters. But not bad here. Look at that. Pretty decent frame rate we are actually getting. Aram say 50 55 FPS on an average. You know what? The performance could have been like much better, but at least like 15 20% on this laptop. But the brand themselves limited the whole thing. We only have like one 8GB LPDDR4X RAM stick on board, right? And that to it is like soldered. No additional RAM slot is also available. If only the brand could have given an additional slot over here, we could have added one more 8GB RAM stick in a dual channel sort of configuration and could have definitely improved the overall performance. Those micro stutters would have also been gone. Anyways, now dropping down to 720p resolution, now let's see how the laptop handles it. Everything else is still same, graphics also set to low. And ah, now this is what I'm talking about. Look at that frame rate. Muska performance at 720p guys. Aram see you're getting around like 55-60 FPS consistent frame rate on an average. Now this is what you people wanted, na? You can easily play Valorant game at these sort of settings. Sometimes the frame rate was also hitting up to 75-80 also. Look at that. Talking about the thermals, thermals are also like decent guys. They didn't face much of heating issues over here. But I do have to mention when you're playing games, fans on it do get quite noisy after a while. Alright, that is it. This is what I wanted to show you people in this video. Yes, you can play a game on budget category laptop also, but mostly at 720p resolution that to at like very normal or low graphic quality settings. And then only you'll get like a smooth consistent 60 FPS frame rate. At times you can hit 1080p resolution also, but their uh, frame rate, you know, you won't get like 60, but around like 30 FPS. You've seen the results, right? Again, don't expect you will be able to play like very graphic intensive games, maybe like Assassin's Creed or maybe like Cyberpunk. Nah, yeah not possible at all but let me tell you instead of a 30k laptop if you go for like a 30k edition pc build that might actually be able to do that guys at 1080p resolution also let me know in the comment section we'll make like an awesome comparison between a laptop and pc in 2023 so that's it if you all enjoyed watching this video and got to know a lot make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome videos and i'll see you all in my next one